You know what time it is. I ain't got to say nothing. You already know. All right. Small time here. You know, I wanted to talk about Destiny because, you know, the last video that I released was like Destiny 2. And to be honest with you, I didn't really like the beta. Maybe the game's going to be different, but I'm going to wait until the game comes out because I actually like the storyline and the campaign line. Then I do like the multiplayer and the uh, and versus mode. Like if it's you know PV player versus player or PVP, however you want to say it, I know I'm going to mess it up. I don't even care anymore. So I went ahead and created like two more characters because I found out you can create like three different characters. So I got like a hunter's class, a warlock's class, and a titan's class. And you know what? I felt bad because I had like two guys. You know, I already had a guy, I already had another guy, and I didn't have a girl. So, like, I created the girl titan. And I'm going to actually play with her today because, like, she's only level 9. And I want to get her up to, like, 10 or higher. Because I already got the warlock up to level 11. Which was, for some reason, ridiculously easy. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, like, a little bit of what the game is about. And I just want to talk to you about it. Because... I feel like I didn't talk about it. I just showed you a video. I didn't really explain what I was going to do in it. Because I didn't really like the PvP. I didn't like it. I didn't like player versus player. I don't know if it's just me. I'm just not into like... If I wanted to play a combat game versus people, I'd just play like Call of Duty or something like that. Just like Destiny, I'd rather just play the campaign. Because the campaign's freaking sweet. It's freaking sweet and awesome. And if anybody hasn't played Destiny yet, and because Destiny 2 is coming out anyway, and it looks just like Destiny, the first one, you know, you know, if you haven't played it, please play it. It's it's really awesome. It's really freaking sweet. Like probably halfway through, I'm going to like, I'm probably going to like edit this out. Yeah, I made a duck sound. I don't even know what that sound is. Maybe it's a weird fart sound. I don't even know. I'm just going to play stuff that goes along with the campaign. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Like, if you play the game, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, I got to find two other characters. Uh, this is the part where I'm going to turn my mic off and you guys get to enjoy me playing a game, okay? And then I'll recap later, okay? The lair is up ahead under that colony ship. Just on the other side of all those devils.
Don't revive me. Do not revive me.
So this is the Devil's Lair. Done. Sepik's Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devil can grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. Oh, and this, this is the cool thing. This is the cool thing about it. You get to upgrade your armor and stuff. Like, see my helmet? See, I got another helmet. I got this helmet right here. It's a level 9. But I got a new helmet that I have to actually go to home base to actually look up to see, like, because he has to decode it so I actually get the weapon or whatever. But, like, you go to a triangle and then basically just upgrade all your weapon. Boom. Oh, and the reason why I have all that extra stuff, like, look. The reason why I have all that extra stuff I can upgrade and everything is because, like, every time I have, like, extra items, like, if I have something that's lower than what my level is right here, like, see that? I just go to it, and then I'll just, like, press square. And basically, I get that, see? And it helps me, like, level up stuff. Ooh, what I got? What I got? Level, a level one? Why would I want a level one? Nah, it's gone, bro. It's gone. It's gone. It is no longer. It, no. Hmm. Let's see what else. One more level, and I get to wear those. 
What are those? My shoes. My shoes. Wait, what? A level. Yeah. See, that's why, even though, look, even though this is a level 8 and it helps me carry more pulse rifle ammo, this one is a, this one has like 63 defense. And if I keep using it, it'll let me carry more ammo too. So, like you get these normal ones, which is just, it's just his chest armor. But then you get the ones that are like different colors. And you'll be able to like, it says uncommon. Like, this is a common one. And this is an uncommon one. And you kind of want to wear the uncommon stuff because they have like, usually they're more powerful. They give you more defense than what I was rocking right there. So look at that. Now I have more defense. Look at that. Bam. More defense. Ba -da. That's it. Let me see. What, what I got here? Because I used to strike. I don't like the strike. I don't like the strike. I want the defense. I want to be more defensive. I feel like a Titan should be more defensive. So. What is this? What? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right. Armor of light. I like that. See, I want to be defensive. I wanted to actually a defend class. One that actually defends for everybody. What does that do? Nothing. It says uncommon, but it doesn't do anything extra. Even though it's like green. I'm going to take this one because it's a level 9. It gives me more defense. Uh, but I hope you like that, guys. Um, I'm going to sign it off here. You know, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm probably going to go back and edit. So, I'll probably throw in some more more junk. If not, this is all you're going to get because I'm not going to, like, make my videos ridiculously long. I just like to make them long enough to where you can understand what I'm doing. And, uh, guys, can you, like, drop a like or can you leave a comment? If you did like Destiny 2 or if you don't like Destiny 2, please leave me a comment. I kind of want to know. Cause